Hey, this is Dan Nickerson. This is just a short video to show you how to upgrade from Socrates 3 or Socrates 4 to Socrates 5. I'm just going to give you some quick little tips. This is only a short little uh, three or four minute video. So first off, what I would recommend that you do is that you open your current site in a new tab. So you can see what your current site looks like. So this is just the default install of the old Socrates 3.0 plus. So one thing you can do is you can open this in a new tab or you can open it in a new browser just so you have um, you can see what it looks like and how you had it laid out. All right. The next thing you want to do is you'd go into the admin panel for Socrates 3 and you go to your header and you want to make sure that you save your header. So you can just open it in a new tab and then download it. You know, right click and save as and you've got it downloaded. Um, but that you should save the header. There's really nothing else out here that you need to save. And then under Socrates settings, we have different um, things that you may have added in here like Google Analytics. You may have added in some in-post ads. Just copy whatever text you have in here and post it into a notepad, right? Just save it on your desktop, just open up notepad, paste it in there. Uh, same with any ad blocks that you may have and so forth. A lot of these functions have changed in the new Socrates. If you have Socrates 4.0, uh, I'll activate that and then you'll see that this has the theme editor right and so you go to header options here's your header once again you can open this in a new tab and just save it and then if you have any monetization options you want to copy them and paste them in a notepad so you have that uh, information there same thing as well you might want to open this in a new tab and then as long as you don't reload it you'll be, have access to look at this in another in another theme so now, once you activate Socrates 5.0, one of the first things that you're probably going to want to do is that if you reload the page, you might notice that your menus are off or your widgets are off. So the first thing to do is look in your widgets, and we have top banner widgets and bottom banner widgets and header widgets and landing footer widgets. You want to make sure that those are actually empty uh, because what happens is sometimes the, the old theme will inherit and they'll put them in a different widget. So if, for example, it, all of a sudden your site looks all misformatted, most likely there's a widget that's stuck in the top banner or the bottom banner. Just If you had a widget over here, for example, just drag it back over there and that solves that problem. Then you want to go to Menus and you want to make sure that in your Manage Locations that you've assigned a menu to your primary menu. And then after that, um, if you want to upload your header, you'd go into a Customize, Header Image, and here's where you could upload your old image I might not have it right here default header select I'm gonna skip cropping and then your old header is here there's a header height that you would change as well the width of the width of this is is off so it would fix when you <laughs> upload it I'm not gonna do a full tutorial on the header image for now uh, but that is is how you would do that and then the other thing I want to mention is that you will need to uh, install the Socrates Toolkit plugin, which is here, and then go to Monetization, and then you would paste in your ad code that you had before in Socrates. So here's the in-post ad, and then the in-post ad bottom. Uh, if you're using the top banner widgets, for example, and you save that code, you can just grab a, grab a text widget, like so, drag it up to the top banner, and then you can paste in your top banner widget here, code here. It doesn't, it doesn't have the rotator, but even better, you can set visibility to show different ads based on posts, pages, and, and so forth. So it works even kind of better than a rotator because the rotators weren't very effective. But here you can change ads per page using the widget visibility that's built into the Socrates Toolkit plugin. So once again, just a short four minute video to show you to hopefully ease your pain upgrading from Socrates 3 or 4. Save the header, save your ad codes, activate the new theme, check your widgets, assign a menu, uh, and move your in-post ads over and you're 90% of the way to setting up your theme and how it looked. And you can always look, go back and look at the other tab that you had to see how you had it laid out and see if there's anything missing or anything you need to rearrange. That's it. Hope the video was helpful.